Oh, it must be insane, Xander. Do you realize how late it is? <laughs> well, we might as well be a little nuts. We're newlyweds. Mm -hmm. Just come back from a romantic moonlit walk <laughs> in the woods behind our very first home. Rented home. <laughs> For now. One day when I start making a little more money, I'm going to buy this place. Go to the gazebo out back where we can sit out under the stars. You like gazebos, right? What woman doesn't? That's what I thought. I could see you out there writing in your journal. Mm -hmm. It's in one of those beautiful, long, flowy summer dresses that you like. Looking amazing. <laughs> yeah, I like it. <laughs> Ridiculously happy here. Uh, Xander, I'm just I'm just a little curious. Um why why here in particular? Well, wow, it's perfect. It's isolated, it's quiet, surrounded by woods. How about Nicholas used to live here? Alexis. I had no idea you were even back. Why didn't you call me? I planned to. Nicholas. What? Oh, I, I rented this house for a lot of reasons. I mean, the rent's more than doable. It was available right away. We got a sweet deal. And I mean, yeah, I mean, the thought of living husband and wife in a place that Nicholas used to I mean, it crossed my mind. Yeah, but, but why does it matter, Xander? It doesn't. That's the point. This house is perfect for us. And I did not want the fact that Nicholas used to live here keeps away. It's very enlightened of you, Xander. <laughs> You think so? <laughs> I love you. I hope you know that. If I don't, all I gotta do is look at those beautiful eyes of yours. So, hey, wife. <laughs> you tell me. Not to. Why? Well, there's some wine in the kitchen. Mm. So maybe some cheese and crackers. <laughs> I was thinking I could light a fire and you could stare at it while I stare at you. Our first official phone call. Do you mind? Oh, God. Knock yourself out. <laughs> <laughs> uh, um, <laughs> Mr. and Mrs. Smith's residence. <laughs> you sound terrible. What's wrong? Changed a couple of a couple of fuses. The breaker should hold. Okay. Um, the main fuse box is just inside the cellar door. By the way, I always kept it locked. Okay. Thanks. Yeah, I'm, I'm sure Dan <coughs> figured out how to open it, but he had to go out, and I figured, you know, since he used to live here, that. Stop, stop explaining why you called. I'm happy okay. I could help you. Come on, you're freezing. Get away from that. Right. Uh, there you go. Thanks. Back. Yeah. 
tell you what, um, I'll get a fire going for you before I leave, okay? How's that? Okay, thanks. That, that'd be nice. So how are you feeling? <laughs> um, yeah, I'm, I'm sure it has to do with, uh, with getting out of the hospital, but, uh, I feel better than I have in, I don't know, what feels like forever. <laughs> I mean, uh, I tire easily, but there, there are no signs of meningitis. <laughs> Excellent. And if they, uh, if they find a, a new chemo treatment that works for me, I think I'll be around a lot longer than I thought. <laughs> Told you. Yes, you did. Matches? On the, on the table. Oh, there I go. Trying to call Emily? I'm trying to call and tell her I'm on my way home. <sighs> Storm must have knocked out the phone lines. Yeah, your power's out, too. How would you know something like that? Your wife called my husband to come out and turn it back on. Didn't take them long, did it? Hey, the phones are out, too. Yeah, I figured as much. <clears throat> Look at you, Nicholas. You're soaked again. No, I'm all right. No, you're not. And, and you're certainly not going back out there for a while. I mean, it could, it could start raining at any second. Just, um, wait it out with me. Okay, thanks. I probably shouldn't make. Now you have to. Um, when I told Xander that, that he pulled me back, when I felt my life slipping away, I lied. It was you, Nicholas. I know it was only a, a dream or I something. I had the same one. What? I kissed you. And you were back with me. Don't you see that? How connected we are. Like, don't you see that? 